in the most wonderful powerful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. We are excited today to be in the presence of the Lord. This is SMK from Bokil Christian Center. May I think growing to take over the world. Amen! Blessed the Lord. I I feel the wave, I feel the storm, I feel uh, I feel like the, the magnitude of God's move through this vehicle. Let us ready ourselves as we've already heard about the imagination that is able to take us there and create things that are not seen with the eyes of humanity but are left out in the spiritual womb to be erected in the land of the living and invisible. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm excited, I'm excited. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's just give it up unto the Lord this morning. Come on, eight I have 
overcome. Cancer, I have overcome. Depression, tuberculosis, I have overcome. Lawlessness, community, you name it, it's under. Come on, come on, it's under. Look, 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 look. Do, 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 do you want a name for it? Do, do you want a name for it? Okay, let's name it. Dislocated joints and hips and a spinal cord that has got a radiated disc that has shifted. It is. Are you hearing me? Death, drug, drug addiction. My, my, my goodness, it's. You, you hear me, you hear me, you hear me. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. Are you hearing me here? The, the tampering with my DNA, it is. Come on, come on. 
Maybe you don't know that the Lord is speaking to you now. But what you speak, the Bible says in the book of Peter, for we are a building made out of stone, stone upon other stone. In other words, we are a building made, made of Petrus. So God is saying, Petrus stone. I am and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. I say also unto you now that you are no longer the reed, you are no longer the weakling, you are no longer the forsaken, you are no longer the, 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 the diseased, you are no longer the, the shameful, you are no longer the pitied, you are no longer. You, and I say unto you, you are no longer poverty stricken. You are no longer. You are no longer. You are no longer. You are no longer. Come on. You are no longer. I say unto you, you are no longer. I was. But you are firm and fixed. A stone, you are Petrus, and, and, and you can sing a new song and say, Just push me up, and I will keep on rolling. And when I roll, I will locate the statue that has been erected to go to and I will hit hard on the feet of the statue and talk to it. Oh, my goodness, me, when I roll, I will roll into the sea, and when I get into the sea, I will start creating waves. nasty things because they are not speaking to what the Lord has declared. Amen. My, my Amen. I'm not cursed. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm blessed. Amen. I'm Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. I'm, 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 I'm a superstar in the hands of my Michael. Hey. When he made me, he stood and looked and he looked and he said, it is beautiful. Are you with me? You are no longer. Say, I'm no longer. I am no longer. Whatever I used to think of myself. Whatever I used to think of myself. I'm no longer. I'm no longer. Whatever the devil was saying about me. Whatever the devil was saying about me. I'm no longer. I'm no longer. What my past said I am. What my past said I am. But I am everything. The Lord is pronouncing. And I hear the Lord say, I am the trust. The stone that is cut from the rock to build a building that will stand. Yeah. <laughs> 
that I hear the Lord counseling it. He says, now you are no longer dust, but you are a stone for the Mashiach of the Lord. Hey. And here it is, you will be able to stand in the midst of your own. Come rain, you will stand. Come storm, you will stand. Come on, I'm a shaken about it. Say that with an attitude, please. I am no longer. I am no longer. And upon this rock, it's like Jesus was pointing at something, and I believe he was pointing at himself. Yes. Oh, Are you hearing me? Amen. And upon this rock, Amen. my goodness, Amen. you are a stone, yes. right? And I will use the stone to build upon this rock. My you me? Upon this rock, I will build my church. I said to you last week as I'm about to sit down again, my goodness me, I said to you that the building means to be established. Are you hearing me? No, 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 no. You are established, my friend, in three levels. But my goodness me, and I just want to talk about that and then we go home. And no, 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 we give. We don't go home, we give. Hallelujah, let, let, let me fix that. Are you with me? Now, now you are established in three levels. But my God, my God, he establishes you in your mind, the same mind. He establishes you in your mind. Are you hearing me? Because if your mind is stayed on him, if your mind is renewed, if your mind is thinking the thoughts of glory, then you will know that he has no plans to destroy you, but to give you your expected end. When your mind is right, you will be able to sleep in the storm. When your mind is right, you will be able to think of things that are already concluded as we have had. Are you hearing me? The problem is our minds are not renewed. And that's why we come to church. We are hearing God speak and we get excited. Yet we go back home and return back to our former state of bondage because the mind is not liberated. Because of the bondage that was inserted on the minds of the people, we have blacks who are living in cozy places. They are living in big houses. They are driving fancy cars, and they are they are working in great offices. But believe me, they are just decorated slaves because their mind is not liberated. How do I know that the mind is not liberated? As long as you are able to look down upon yourself in another person, you are not liberated. Amen. Africa has become a graveyard for people with money and that is why they don't develop it because you don't develop a graveyard because a graveyard is for the, for the dead and for the decaying. Let me prove it to you. When we got money, we go abroad and study. And we take our children abroad to go and study. Uh, are you hearing me? And we go out and say, we're looking for better opportunities. And when we die abroad, we want to be flown back to home to be buried. Because Africa is a graveyard in our minds, but not a place to be developed. Oh, Jesus have mercy. And, 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 and God wants to change that because he says in the last days, the sons of the sons of Cush are the ones who will bring a presence unto the Lord. Are you hearing me? So in other words, God is in the business of telling things upside down. He is changing the order. Amen. I declare and I decree Bokim shall not be the graveyard. Yeah. And I declare and I, de I declare and I decree. No, my goodness me, Mayatin will not be the graveyard. Yeah. I, let me come closer. I decree and I declare. How dare will not be a graveyard. Yeah. No, let me come closer. I declare and I declare. Yeah. My goodness me, South Africa will not be a graveyard. Yeah. I decree and I declare. Yeah. Africa will no longer be a graveyard. Yeah. 
actually in every imagination. I think I was talking to Pali yesterday. Now, the imaginations, these, these are things that the enemy has crafted and, and sold them like seeds into your mind so that you waste your time thinking of things that are not of your kingdom, thinking, thinking of things that are not of your identity, thinking of things that are not great, not possible, things that do not matter, you busy thinking about those. And, and the enemy knows when you are thinking about those things, you are actually destroying and diminishing your own image. And when the image is no longer visible, you cannot receive things from glory because the thing that attracts the things that come from heaven, it's your identity, the image that God has given you. Because everything that he releases, he releases it according to the name text and the image of the person who's supposed to receive. So when you are busy thinking things which are not my, my goodness me, in line with your image, with, with who you are, my goodness me, you will be robbing yourself of receiving your package. Not that the package is not released. The package is released, but it can't locate the owner. Hence, it will be taken back. Or oh, somebody who is happy enough will end up getting a double portion, not because a double portion left, but because somebody decided to dislocate from their identity and, the, and somebody else was able to attract the I refuse to think bad thoughts from now. I refuse to think negative things from now. I refuse to think things that are capturing my identity from now. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Let me tell you how we think in glory. When I've got pain, I do not say which pill is good for this. Oh my goodness me. But, but, but when I'm sick in glory, we say, by his stripes, I am healed. Are you hearing me? What whilst, 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 whilst my bank account is going to zero and money is acting funny and the people are not paying me even though they owe me, you know, I refuse to think negatively and say, I am doomed, the hunger will strike and we will be finished because that's the language of the people who do not know their identity. But we speak and think the thoughts of glory to God. And, and, and I go to my Bible and my Bible says, they that trust upon the Lord will not lack. Them think that the Lord is good. Are you hearing me? And, and I will go to the Bible and the Bible will tell me that let the poor say I'm rich. Did you hear that right? The Bible is not saying after they've been blessed, let them say I'm rich. Let the poor. In other words, whilst the condition is still there, speak to the condition and say I am rich. Are you hearing me? In other words, defy the odds. Even though you are aware of the situation, my goodness me, you defy the odds by declaring over the situation the power of imagination. What cost the children of Israel done not to inherit Canaan? When they went to Canaan, the Lord had spoken, go and possess, not go and fight, go and possess not go and fight church, not go and fight, not go and hustle, not go and struggle, go and possess. In other words, defy what is already there and take what is there. Oh my goodness, my goodness. And, 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 and they decided not to hear what the Lord was saying. And, and, and rather than defying the giants, they looked at the giants and they came back and said, we, we, we are unable to possess the land. You hear that? We are unable, Bokin, we are unable to build because no one amongst us has the money. We, we are unable to build the kind of building we want because none of us is a millionaire. 
We are unable to give, to build, Pastor S, because the people have toyed, they don't want to give. If they do it, don't let them continue. Hey. Maybe there's an angel dispatched that is stirring them up to do the toy toy. Let them continue. But the builders will also continue. Amen. Amen. Hey. Hey. I remember during the struggles when I was still an activist. As I close. As we were toy toying and making the country ungovernable, yes. there were people who were calling us names. They cast from the windows. They cast inside the Texas. But we were not deterred. The courage came out of their insults and we were able to face the barrel of a gun carrying stones and petrol bombs. And guess what today? The country is liberated. Are you with me here? Amen. Your imagination is working dangerous stuff against you. Shake it. Be renewed. Be transformed. Or even better, let me prophesy over your mind. I declare and I decree, let your mind be totally renewed. Let, let your mind be separated from the, from the Swedish tent. When in you have you have built a shack and stayed near the stage. Let, let your mind be set apart. Let your mind be set free. Let your mind be set free. Because you need a cousin's push 
for you to fall into your place. Baba, you are you are hearing me, Ora Basha Kalabahan. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh yes. Talk about Moses. Moses needed a push from the Israelites. The Israelites needed to, to suffer and they needed to fight so that the, the, the thing in him should be aroused and say, ah, ah, Israelites do not fight Israelites. We fight the enemy even when we are in his camp. Are you hearing me? Paul needed Barnabas. Timothy needed Paul. Jesus needed the disciples. Even though he was God. Who do you have? Because you must be established even in your emotions. You get a push. Mary needed Elizabeth. So that when they greeted her, it was Elizabeth who confirmed the, 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 the talkings of of, 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 of the angel, and then she says to, 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 to Mary, Oh, who gave me these greetings if not the mother of my children? Oh, my Jesus, I, I, these were cousins, but the greetings came out of the womb that connected to another womb because she needed a push from a cousin to fall into place. You are rejecting people because your emotions are in six. Seven. You are connected with people who want to steal from you, sent by the devil to train you of your strength because your emotions are in six and seven. Are you hearing me? Check the people you allow in your inner circle. You are emotionally and claiming to have discernment. It's not discernment, it is, it is judgment. And when you are judgmental, you are actually canceling your own progress.
him, we bless God that you are here. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus.
hope but look warm. But my good friend, because the temperament of the church or the temperature, the spiritual temperature of the church is linked to the foundation. When the foundation is warm enough and hard enough and strong enough, then everything that is built on it reflects the strength and the authority of the foundation. That's why it was important that they first they first interpret who Jesus is. Who do you say that I am? Because the foundation is vital. For two cannot walk together unless they agree. Oh, yes. hmm. If you walk with somebody without agreement, it means you are in a relationship with a stranger. And when the stranger becomes a stranger, then you will suffer the consequences. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Are you, are, you, are you with me? And, and, and number three, I have found out that, that the life of the church is linked, it's directly linked to the pronunciation of the founder of the church. It's directly linked to the pronunciation of the founder of the church. And, and when we speak of the founder of the church, we're not speaking to we're speaking Jesus. But Jesus has spoken about his church. Jesus has said, it does not matter how high the pillows, it does not matter how, how strong the enemies have, it does not matter how many demons have been dispatched against that which he has spoken. But Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. What Jesus spoke will stand the test of time. Are you happy? It does not matter how the well wind is blowing. It does not matter how deep the valley has been cut. It does not matter how high the mountain has been raised. But what Jesus has said, it shall stand. And it will come to pass. Because Jesus says, upon this water, I will build my church. As I sit down, let me say this. The word build in Greek means to reconstruct, to reposition. It means to establish, to found, my good spirit, to firmly cover so that nothing happens against. Are you hearing me? And I hear the Lord saying, you as an individual, he's going to restore, cover, establish firmly, my good spirit, that the, the winds may blow, but you will not be shaken. I hear the Lord speaking unto you and saying, just like your seal or a shakamaha that cannot be moved, you will not be shaken. Just like a tree that is planted by the waters, you will not be moved because the Lord said, I will be no shakamaha. Are you hearing me? It does not matter. It does not matter what you've been through. It does not matter what the whispering of the devil has been saying to your tight corners. But the Lord said, I will establish you. I will raise you up. I will cover you. I will over the Baha. I will find you. Are you hearing me? Now somebody here needs to shout out. I am founded on a firm foundation. And I will not be shaken or be toppled over. I am established. And I will walk in the glory of my Lord and covered by his, his glory. And I will see goodness in the land of the living. Because the Lord said, Yes. 